streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What's up, y'all, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone in my beautiful and my handsome collective out there is doing well. So this reading, you guys, is going to be for anyone of any zodiac sign. Okay, sun, moon, rise, and Venus, it doesn't matter. If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else that you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, you guys, let's go. So we're going to pull some messages from the karma tells you guys. Let's see what's going on between your person and this third party, okay? Messages for my collective Holy Spirit. What do they need to know? Messages for my collective. What do they need to know about this third party? I still love them and I refuse to let them go, okay? So I did a reading talking about somebody's crazy ex. It was a psycho, okay? They were holding on for dear life. And they're refusing to let this person go. So this is someone that could be trying to trap them, trying to do anything under their power to try to keep this person stuck. You know what I'm saying? They're refusing to let this person go. They don't want this person to move on and come towards you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What does my collective need to know? So you guys, this was a relationship or a situation where they was playing mind games with each other. Okay, so this is a very toxic connection this this karmic was playing mind games with this person and this person was playing mind games with them and in, in turn for some of you guys when you met this person this is why they played a lot of mind games with you because they were used to being in this energy they were used to doing this toxic ass playing mind games lying each other manipulating each other you know gassing each other up and shit just it was a big ass mess and they were used to that chaotic energy so when they met you they brought that chaos into your life Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. What do they need to know? I feel them slipping away and this calls for drastic measures. Thank you, Spirit. I can't make this up. This person, you guys, this karmic, this third party still loves them, okay? They feel they still love them and they refuse to let them go. They feel this person slipping away and they feel like, okay, we're going to call for me some drastic measures. Like, they're going to have to reach into their little bag of tricks okay and, and and do all type of shit in order to keep this person stuck because they don't want them to move on they don't want this person to get out of this unstuck energy because when they do they're going to move on they're going to walk away from the third party and that's what they refuse to happen they refuse to let this shit happen especially when they know they're going to move on from them and come towards you tell us more how to see it messages for my collective Ooh, I get disgusted every time I look at them, okay? So for some of you guys, maybe this person, because in that last reading it talked about, you know, it's been revealed to this person that this, third, this, that this third party was doing things to keep them stuck on purpose. So it's like every time they look at this third party, they get disgusted. They be like, oh, your ass again. You know what I'm saying? Like they hate seeing this person, especially when they realize that they kept them from you, like they were doing things purposely to keep them stuck. Messages for my collective Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What does my collective need to know? Ooh, I'm not the only karmic in his life. Okay, for some of you guys, shit, they, this this karmic, okay, this wife, husband, whomever they saying, shit, you think I'm the only karmic? Shit, I'm not the only karmic that this person is dealing with. Because there can be other karmics, okay? Because in that last reading, it was talking about someone was dealing with multiple people. Or these karmas, hell, people, parents can be their karmas. Like sisters and brothers, family members can be karmas. You know, anybody that's keeping you from moving on in your life or holding you back, that can be a third party or a karma. So they're like, uh-uh. I'm not the only person that's keeping this person stuck and holding them back. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. All right, y'all. For some of you, this karma is saying, baby, they know exactly who you are. So if you've ever questioned 
if this third party or Carmen knew who you were, they saying, yeah, I, I know who you are, Collective. I know exactly who you are. Ooh, look at this. We are both effing other people. So for some of you, what was that? Um, that collective reading I did with the tarot, okay? It was talking about someone here suffered the ultimate betrayal. And for some of you, this is the ultimate betrayal. They're going to find out that there's a third party or whoever they was dealing with this karmic that they was dealing with shit. They was out here helping other people too. So this could have been why this person wasn't really concerned about them dealing with you or these other karmas because shit, they both was out here fucking. For some of you guys, they could have been fucking some of their family members and friends, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome collective needs to know about this karmic? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? They, have, they may have called feelings for you, but I'm the love of their life. So this karmic is well aware that this person has feelings for you, emotions for you. For some of you guys, they're in love with you. But they feel like, shit, they're, they're the love of their life. So for some of you, this could have been like their first love or, you know, the first person that they've ever told that they love or their first crush or something. Like they feel like they're... I feel like it's more of that first love. Like, this could have been, like, their first relationship or the first person that they thought, you know, they was in love with. I really don't care what they do. I, have, <laughs> I really don't care what they do. I have my own situation going on. So, for some of you, this third party could care less about what your person doing. They returning to you. What they got going on. They saying, babe, I got my own situation going on. Because we got, we're both fucking other people. So for some of you, this card third part ain't even concerned about this person. They like shit. I got my own shit going on. I would transform myself into whomever they want me to be. So for some of you, okay, this could be your divine counterpart, and they know you're in this divine feminine energy, right? So what's this third part they gonna do? Transform themselves to be a divine feminine, to be anything that this person wants. If they want you, and you're the divine feminine, they say, "Well, should I transform myself into be a divine feminine? Like whatever you need me to be, I'll be that." Okay. And this karma for the life of them cannot understand what's so special about this connection. But they know it's something very special because someone out here feels your person slipping away. And they feel like this causing for some drastic measures. Like, I got to do some old drastic ass shit in order to keep this person stuck because they refuse to let them go. So because they feel them slipping away, because they feel that they want to leave them and come towards you, they're going to do whatever it's going to take. To keep this person stuck so that shit does not happen, okay? So let's see the signs, you guys. Let's see. This could be, like I said, you or this could be your person. We're going to see who this reading is about. All right, we got Cancer, Libra, Leo, Sag. Libra, Heavy, Gemini, Aquarius. Damn. Libra, Heavy, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.